Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, August 27th, and it's a great day to be great. So please stand. And let's begin this day in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day. For all the intentions of your sacred heart, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of our associates, and in particular, for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We continue to pray for all those on our prayer sick list and all those in need of our prayers today. We especially keep in our prayers today the folks who have been affected by the hurricanes down in the Gulf, those who are affected also in the islands. Uh, we especially pray for those people being affected by Hurricane Laura at this time. We pray for all those that are in her path and those who, again, have been affected. We also want to continue to pray for the repose of the soul of Mr. Fagan, whose funeral is this morning at 1030 and keep Mrs. Fagan, who's a volunteer here at St. Clair the Great, in our prayers, as well as all the Fagan family. We also want to keep in our prayers this morning the doctors, nurses, researchers, technicians, clinicians, scientists, all those who are in the healthcare field, our government officials, and especially our teachers and staff here at St. Clair the Great. We ask that their guardian angels be with them, and our guardian angels be with us. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here. Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our honor pledge. As a St. Greg the Great student, I will do my best to be the best. I will listen. I will follow directions. I will honor my work and the work of others. I will respect the rights of others. I can learn. I will learn. I will treat all that I meet with the kindness of Jesus. Okay, as you get settled back in, just a handful of announcements for you this morning. Um, first of all, um, things just randomly pop in your mind sometimes, and, and so that actually happened during the Honor Pledge. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. So our founding principal, Sister Kenise Adams, um, who is a sister of St. Cyril Methodius, um, she had actually developed that pledge and has been a part of our St. Gregory the Great community for quite some time uh, since our school's founding. But do you know that that honor pledge also can be found in a couple different locations that Sister Kenise has been a part of? Um, she was principal up at St. John Neumann Catholic School up in Columbia. And so they actually have, um, I think, pretty much word for word, aside from, you know, St. Gregory the Great, uh, the same honor pledge. And then when um, I used to be the principal at St. Peter's in Beaufort, and right after me came Sister Judy uh, as principal for a year. And with uh, her guidance from Sister Kenise, St. Peter's also uses the same honor pledge again. Um, not, you know, excluding the St. Gregory portion, but anyhow, that is your fun fact for today. So, uh, we do have chapel this morning. Uh, just going over our response to the psalm, I'll do it again in chapel. This morning, we do have our friends from kindergarten joining us. Um, I believe that the chairs uh, will still be set up in the gym. I'll check with Mr. Brett this morning and see where we're at with that. Um, but anyhow, we do need to go straight down those rows. We need to give each other a little bit of space in between those rows. And so um, as you come over, folks, come through the cafeteria way. I know the kindergarten um, secondary classroom is there, um, but just there's plenty of space to just come straight through the cafeteria, straight through those double doors, and right on into the gym. I also want you to take a look at something new that's in the hallway between the cafeteria and the gym. Take a peek at that, and um, we'll be starting to fix that up um, probably today, maybe even tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. All right, response to the psalm is, My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. 
keep on practicing that. Um, teachers, Miss Sandy did put in your boxes, I believe, yesterday or maybe the day before the gospel. So if you have it seconded to go over that as well in religion class um, today, uh, possibly even first thing tomorrow morning, that'd be great. Um, we are going to, everyone also should hopefully have um, song sheets. Dr. Kane's got those ready. So we're going to do the same thing as last week. We'll go through the readings and a couple other items first. And then Dr. Kane will be leaving the 830 Mass and coming over and joining us here. Uh, we do have a handful of students who are going to be participating in Mr. Fagan's funeral this morning um, and are needed about 1015-ish. Uh, so be, be on the um, uh, lookout for your name being called and we'll get you over to the church. And finally, we do have a birthday today all the way down in the pre-K. Happy birthday to Marcus. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Awesome, Marcus. We're going to catch up with you, get you your birthday prize. Uh, I think that does it on my end, folks. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you at chapel, and I'll see you around the building. God bless you.